Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge A level Information Technology Paper 4 Advanced Practical for the year October November 2021. Task 6 is the web page task. Open item counter task.html in a browser. So this is the page. Let's open this in browser. This web page must operate as a counter that displays a total by clicking the inspection complete button after an item has been inspected. You can see here when you click on this inspection complete, it should display messages like this. One item completed, two item completed like that. So we need to add the script for displaying this one. You can see this is the page. Now let's, if you click on inspection, it should show the message, how many items inspected. So how many times you click, that many times the uh, count will be shown. And this button is to reload the page. So let's open this in the editor. I'm using um, web expression. So this is the file. Click on code. So if you look at the code, you can see here. When you click on inspection complete, this function should be invoked. A function name, count name should be invoked. So the code we have to write inside this function. And the message should be displayed at this ID, which is given as display count here. So let's use scripting here. That the code script. Now let's write the function. The function name is count items. So whatever code we are, whenever the button is clicked, it will go to this function. So we just need to set a counter. Uh, when whenever this is clicked a counter should be increased and then that value should be shown so let's declare a counter count equal to 0 before the function now when each time this is clicked the count value must increase so you can give count plus plus Count plus plus means count equal to count plus one. So I have given this way. Now when you click on it, you have to show one item completed, two items completed, etc. So save the uh, completed file as item counter followed by your Center number, candidate number. So first we should display items inspected. So let's give that. I have already set the count. So we can give how many items inspected here. I'm using the document.get element by ID property. The ID is given here, display count here. At this point, the count must be displayed. dot inner html equal to the code is the count items inspected so you can give count since count is a variable count plus items inspected
save the completed file as item counter 1 followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. It should be saved as item counter 1 followed by your sender number and candidate number. So let's check whether it's working. So this is the file. Let's check. When you click on inspection complete, you can see it is showing one items inspected. Again, when you click, it is two items. It goes on like that. If you click on reset counter, the page is reset. Again, if you click, you can see it shows the number of times an item is inspected. Next, I'm in the code to display the correct text to match the number of items counted. Example, item. If it is one, you have to write item placed. If it's more than one, it should be items placed. So, this item should be shown only if the count is greater than one. So you can give like this if if count greater than zero then it will show items inspected otherwise else means it can be one only sorry greater than one it should be greater than one. It's document dot get element items inspect. Else it is item when it is one. So it must be item inspect. Save the completed file as item counter 2. It must be saved as item counter 2. Let's check whether it's working. Let's preview from the browser. So when you click, if it is one, it should show item, otherwise it should be items. So you can see one item inspected. Again, when I click, it is items. So it is working. This is the end of the web programming task.